Tonight, we got Thursday Night Football. The Colts face off against the Titans in Tennessee tonight, 820 on Fox. Um, this is going to be a good game. This is the, the, this is the um, game for first in the AFC South. I'm correct on that, right? I say AFC South? Yes. All right. So let me let me just give you some preview um, for in terms of offense, defense, passing, and rushing. Uh, when it comes to offense, the Colts are 20th in the NFL, and the Titans are 14th. In defense, the Colts are first. No surprise there. De- uh, off uh, Defensively, Titans are 20th. Passing, the Colts are 17th in the, uh, uh, compared to the Titans 21st. And in rushing, the Colts are 25th in the, in the Titans are in 6th. So with that said, let me get out. Let me put out some other stats too. Uh, total yards, uh, the Colts got 360 and a half compared to Tennessee's 384 and a half. As for points per game, Indianapolis uh, Indianapolis gets 26 as uh, opposed to Tennessee's 29. Total yards allowed, Indianapolis is uh, 290 in comparison to Tennessee's 394, and points allowed is Indianapolis is 20 and in comparison to Tennessee's 25. And some insights uh, for Indianapolis, Phillip Rivers has been sacked seven times this season, which is the fewest among 30, uh, all the 32 qualified quarterbacks in the NFL. And uh, the Titans have a plus 10 turnover differential this season, which is the most in the NFL. Mario, I think this is going to be a really good game there, buddy. I, To be honest with you, a lot of people are going for the Titans. I don't know, man. I, I think the Colts might fall off an upset in this game. I agree, and I think, honestly – When it comes to both these teams, well, first we'll go with the Colts, since both of us think the Colts are going to win. I think it all comes down to – I think it's going to come down to Derrick Henry versus that that defense. That's what it's going to come down to. And so so Derrick Henry is obviously a good rusher, but there has been – but, like, an example like Pittsburgh – yeah, example like Pittsburgh, and they lost to – they lost to one more team. Got to help me out here. I forgot who it was. Bengals. Pittsburgh, yeah. No, the not the Bengals. Were, um, yeah, it was the Bengals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Bengals shocked them. But the thing with Pittsburgh is Pittsburgh has one of the best defenses in the league, and Pittsburgh was able to – Pittsburgh's defense was able to stop Derrick Henry or not even, like, really stop him, but they were able to slow him down. So that's what I'm thinking it's going to come down to, Derrick Henry versus the Colts' defense. And it's that's a tough that's a tough matchup right there to see who would win that, you know? Because, again, like, you know, they both – Derrick Henry and the Colts' defense, they both kind of get exposed. Right. There's sometimes where they get exposed, and there's sometimes where they have their nights. You know what I'm saying? Like last week, the Colts' defense got exposed to um, got got exposed to the Baltimore Ravens, even though Lamar had like one of his worst games of the season. Uh, Derrick Henry had like 50 something yards against the Broncos, I think, in like week I forgot what, like the early weeks. So like week two or three. So they they it is possible, you know, to slow down both the defense for the Colts and um Derrick Henry for the rushing. For rushing, however, you with that being said, you also got to watch out for Ryan Tannehill. You know, Ryan Tannehill is no slouch of a quarterback, and so if he can start, if he's starting to get going, if he starts, you know, firing darts like he usually does, then the Colts are going to have to be a lot more cautious about what types of moves they pick. Mm-hmm. But I, but for the beginning of this, I think it's all going to start from the beginning of this game. For the beginning of the game, the Colts have to. They have to they have to let let Derrick Henry know that they're that they're there, that they are going to stop him. It's gonna come down to that first it's gonna come down to the beginning of the game. Because if they don't stop Derrick Henry within the beginning of the game, he's gonna do it consistently the whole night. And if they do stop him, then they're gonna to have to rely on Ryan Tannehill. So with that being said, so with that being said, personally, I think the Colts defense will do a great job. You know, I think they have I think their coverage is great. I think their their defensive I think their defensive line their pressure to the quarterback is amazing. I think their run game their their uh, run defense is great. Um, I, they have Darius Leonard who's like one of the best tacklers in the league. So with that being said, that that's a big factor for them too. You know, having a good linebacker who can meet Derrick Henry head on and actually you know have a good chance of tackling Derrick Henry. And that's what the and that's what the Steelers did so well when they played when they played them. You know. Even though Derrick Henry had he had himself like a nice little game, they never really let Derrick Henry have like a monster game that we know Derrick Henry can have, you know. And that's what you kind of got to do with a lot of these running backs like Derrick Henry, um, Alvin Kamara, Dalvin Cook. You got to make sure that you stop them and you let them know that that if they run into them, they will be there the whole game. So they have to adjust that plan up. I'll put it like this, <clears throat> and something the Titans need to do. Oh, excuse me, by the way. Um, something the Titans need to do tonight. And something that the Colts need to do tonight. I'll go to the Titans first. 
they need to up their defense. And yeah, I get it. Their Colts, the Colts defense isn't the best in the league. It's not the worst either. But <clears throat> the defense kind of needs to step up their game. Uh, the Colts, same, th- same situation with the Colts. Their rushing game needs to up, up, up a little bit, get more aggressive when the ru- with the rushing game. Um, in terms of passing, they're almost equals when it comes when it comes Incredible. to when it comes to passing. They're almost equals, and that and I think that's something both teams need to step up on too. They're not too far behind each other when it comes to uh passing. And same thing with offense. They're not too far ahead or behind each other when it comes to offense. It's it's just the defense and the rushing where it's just a complete blowout. Um, you know, Philip Philip Rivers has to trust his um, you know, running backs. You know, Jonathan Taylor, especially one of them, he's got to have a good game. Um, you know, I think, I think, I think this is going to be a great game overall. But I think the Titans need to step their defense up. The the Colts offense needs to step up too. And it, it's gonna it's gonna be a good game, I see. Well, well, I'll put it this way. Philip Rivers is having one. I, I think he's having, personally, in my opinion, I think he's starting to have one of the best seasons of his career. You know, he's starting to push age, but it doesn't look but like Philip Rivers, man. It's, sometimes it doesn't even look like he's pushing age. And the thing is with Philip Rivers is he, um, he, him and him and Ryan, and Ryan Tannehill, dude, they, they, they got a lot of similarities. Both of them can fling that ball up. Both of them, if you get, if you, if it came to it, they can both use their legs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Philip Rivers is like, Philip Rivers always reminded me, reminded me of like a Peyton Manning a little bit. Not like, not comparing him to like, he obviously he didn't accomplish as much as Peyton Manning has done, mm. but he, <clears throat> but the way they throw the football, the way they, the way they like handle themselves under pressure, the way it, it, it reminds me a little bit of Peyton Manning, you know, and Ryan Tannehill, I see a little bit more of it in him. You know, I think Ryan Tannehill might be a little more mobile than Philip Philip Rivers. But when it comes to throwing that football, you got to watch out for both of them, you know? And the other thing is, it's the complete opposite because I feel like with this team, I feel like with the Colts, a lot of them are more focused on Philip Rivers. Like, right. you know, a lot of them are fo- are focused on Philip Rivers. Like, that offense around it is, does, does how Philip Rivers does. But they also got to remember Jonathan Taylor's in that background, when, in the backfield too, when Eno Hines. And those are two good running backs right there. Mm. So, but they're well, like underlooked. Good. The difference between the reason why that's opposite from the Titans is because that whole offense, a lot of people think it works around Derrick Henry, but who's underlooked on that offense? Ryan Tannehill. You got to also worry about him. This is going to be an offensive game. I think I could see like a, I could see personally like a 27, 24, maybe, you know, or 28, 24. Like I'm hoping it's like a five to six point differential. Cause that's what um I bet it on Fox sports. And, you know, I want my money, <laughs> but I don't know, man. It's going to be – I know this is going to be a close game. I know this well, is going to be a close game. I'll say this. I'm um, happy Philip Rivers and Ryan Tannehill are both given second chances. I'm not saying Philip Rivers was horrible in, in, in Los uh, – well, most of San Diego with the Chargers before they became Los Angeles. But nice. but at the same time, it, it wasn't just his fault. The Chargers just wasn't serving him any um, – Chargers weren't serving him any justice. You know, they made very few playoff appearances throughout their time when Philip Rivers was there, you know, and now Philip Rivers is actually playing with a team that's surrounded by all this talent. Same thing with Ryan Tannehill, you know, when he was with the Dolphins, he wasn't that bad. It's just he wasn't surrounded by good enough talent to go anywhere. And now he is, you know, both of them, both of them have a lot in common, especially when it comes to their current positions as NFL players. And I, I think overall, this is going to be a really great game. If I, if I had to say, bro, I think this might be, I think this might be the game of the week, if I'm being honest with you. I agree with that. This could possibly be the game of the week. Cause and this is an important uh, win too. But again, we thought anything could happen. This, this, cause again, I'm looking at the teams. One's five. Colts are five and three. Titans are six and two. And the one thing I noticed is that the last teams that were five and three and six and two, Saints and Bucks. And we really thought that was gonna be a close game. And the Saints end up basically hammering the the Bucks. Yeah. That could have possibly happened with one of these teams, you know. So the Titans are kind of like. They're a little iffy right now. Same thing with the Colts are coming off a loss. Both these teams, they, this is a must win for both these teams. Right. I do think this is going to be a close game. I don't think Tannehill or Phillip Rivers is going to quit. Um, I can see I can see this being like between a four-point four, like four point game or a six-point game. You know, I can't see this being a blowout, you know. I can't see like the Colts dominating the Titans because Derrick Henry is bound to have a night, in my opinion bound to have a good game i can't see the titans dominating the colts because the colts defense really doesn't get dominated that often you know even though they lost 24 to 10 
that's probably the best you're ever going to see him lose this year. Right. Like that, that bad, like that's the worst you're probably going to see him lose right there. Yeah, 24 right. to 10. So with that being said, I really do think this will be a, like between a four to six point game. Um, and this is going to be a great matchup. You know, we've been looking for some good Thursday night football games. It seems like we haven't really got any, but this is going to be probably one of the most interesting Thursday night football games of the year. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I just, I, I think, I think they're definitely, excuse me, doing a lot with Thursday night football, uh, especially with the previous matchups. They just weren't great at all. I was starting to think they weren't caring much with Thursday night football. This is going to be an interesting one. My opinion, I think this is going to be the best best Thursday night uh, football game yet this year. Um, but we'll, we'll, but we shall see. Um, the Colts and Titans are on tonight at Fox, eight twenty p.m. Eastern time. Make sure you tune into it.